It's Nathan from Geometry Gym, and today I'm going to quickly run through the download and installation procedure for the Geometry Gym plugins, as well as requesting and activating your 30 day trial license. You can also follow a step by step process at technical.geometrygym.com slash getting started. The first step is to download all the installs for the different plugins you would like to try. You can download as many of these as you would like and test with full functionality for 30 days. In order to download, go to geometrygym.com slash downloads. Here you can browse all the available plugins for different applications. Simply download the desired plugins to any location on your computer. Please ensure that you download the plugin that relates to the version of Rhino or Revit that you have installed and also the correct version corresponding to any linking application where so applicable. For example, Tecla 2017 or Tecla 2018 or GSA 8.7 or GSA 9.0. I am going to download GG Rhino IFC, which also includes the GG Revit Grasshopper plugin, GG Rhino GSA, and Bullant, which is always a recommended install as this is a free plugin and is used in a lot of our example files. I'll download these for Rhino 6. I will also download Revit IFC, Geometry Gym's IFC importer, for Revit 2019. It is worth noting we do have some available plugins for Rhino for Mac. You can just click the link to the Mac plugins here to get to these. Once complete, double click and follow the installer instructions for each of the plugins. Make sure to close Rhino or Revit when installing. If I go to Rhino now, you can see I have a bunch of commands starting with GG. This is an easy way of knowing that the command is related to the Geometry Gym plugin. If I open Grasshopper, I should also have some tabs. Geom Gym is where Bullant and Tech will live. Geom Gym IFC is the IFC plugin. GG Revit has the Revit Link plugin. And GG Structural Analysis is where any structural analysis plugins will be installed. If I click to Revit now, you can also see a Geom Gym menu bar item has now been added. If I try to run a command or place a Grasshopper component, it will tell me that I need a valid license to activate. To get a trial license for the tools, all I'll need to do is run the ggzz license request command in Rhino. A dialog will pop up. If you have a mail client installed such as Microsoft Outlook or Windows Mail, you can click the Generate Mail button. If not, simply compose a new email to johnm at geometrygym.com using your desired email client. Paste the information below into the body of the email and send. If you have only installed the Revit IFC plugin, you can go to Revit. The license reverse form will automatically pop up if no valid license is found and you can follow the same procedure to request a license. Note, if your company has a license for Geometry Gym already, you will not need to complete this process. You should follow up with your IT department to provide your company's Geometry Gym floating license file. If you are having issues with this, you can contact us to provide assistance. Save the company file anywhere on your computer and wait for step three. For the trial license, once you send the email, you will need to wait to receive your valid license. You can expect a response generally within 24 hours and typically sooner. In the meantime, go to technical.geometrygym.com and browse through the example files or watch some of the other videos available here. Once you receive your license, you can save this to your computer wherever you like. I'll save to the folder I downloaded the installs to earlier. Now I can simply go back into Rhino and run the ggzz license update command. 
I get a pop-up which allows me to navigate to the license file on my computer. Select the license file provided and then you'll get an activated notification. Now that you have Geometry Gym installed, head to the Learn section at Geometry Gym Technical to start learning how to use the tools. Browse through our blog or even start some discussion on the forum. If you have had any issues with this process, there are some typical installation issues listed under the installation section of Geometry Gym Technical. If you need any help during this process or need some help getting started with the tools, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at geometrygym.com or get in touch with me directly at nathan at geometrygym.com. Thanks for listening.